here at Iron Dog Tech, getting ready for the Iron Dog. We went and practiced a little bit. It's like riding on the asphalt, riding, riding down the new sewer. We are at the Iron Dog start, getting ready to go here. We got about an hour. We're BSing, man. 2,000 miles until we get to Fairbanks. Hey, man. Good luck out there. You guys, too. I wasn't here, but I heard it rained for like four days straight and just dumped, and it just took all our snow down to nothing, and then the snow that's left is rock hard. The term backcountry kind of gets applied to mountains, but you know, 90% of Alaska, or probably more, isn't mountains, it's, it's wide open tundra. Two riders, 2,000 miles, six days, and nothing compares to this race. Talking with my teammate Ryan, you talk about Tyler and Tyson because they're fast. We train all year for this one race. and they've just been plagued by bad luck, basically. There's a countless number of things that could go wrong. No matter what, it seems like every year something crazy happens. It's upsetting for sure when something happens. Unicleat to Shaq Tulik, that's the only part of that race that I've ever been nervous about. So we were crossing the sea ice on our way to Shaq Tulik, and I just remember turning my head. As soon as I hit the water, panic sets in. The second I saw that, I pinned it to shore. I was able to pretty much crawl down on the edge of the ice and reach out and grab his arm and pull him in. That's why this is a team race, is because you never know when you're going to need somebody. That's probably why we're so close. Riding the Iron Dog on uh, snow years like this, it's kind of like riding down a gravel road. All it is is ice and frozen tundra for miles. Once it was all over, the only thing Tyler and I wanted to do was go find some soft snow. is truly bad luck, then things are gonna change at some point and start going our way. All these years, you just gotta look at it and say those were all learning experiences. We know our day will come.